babysitting. The first video comes from a babysitter. The girl he is babysitting is playing with her toys and out of nowhere, she tells him that she has a doll that moves by itself when she plays hide and seek. You said it moves? Yeah. That doll? This doll? Yeah. Like you move it or? What, what, when does it move? When you play hide and seek with her. When you play hide and seek? Not sure what to make of this, he lets curiosity get the better of him and decides to play hide and seek with the creepy doll to see for himself if it really moves. Oh my god! Sadie, you scared me. Don't do that, dude. The dog comes out of nowhere and scares him, interrupting the game of hide and seek before the doll has a chance to move, in an attempt to protect him from the creepy doll. Because a little later on at night, he puts the five-year-old to bed, and he captures the dog, growling aggressively at the doll, as if it senses something isn't right. Like, I noticed the dog has been staring at the doll. The dog growls at the doll while staring at it for a few minutes. Clearly, we can see the dog is on edge, being in the presence of this doll. A few hours later in the middle of the night, the babysitter takes a nap to pass some time, when all of a sudden, he hears a noise coming from the living room where the doll is located. Upon realizing this, he gets his phone out to record. What he captures is undeniably terrifying. <laughs> Yo! Mysteriously, one of the toys in the living room, right beside the doll, goes off on its own. But even worse, the doll that was in the same position earlier in the day begins to move, lifting its head up to look towards the babysitter before falling backwards and scaring him out of there. This creepy experience really scared the babysitter and we don't know if he will be returning to this house to babysit again after seeing all of that. The Hotel the next video comes from Michael Pate, but was taken by his wife while they were staying in the Menga Hotel over in San Antonio, Texas. The hotel has a reputation for supposedly being the most haunted hotel in San Antonio, so while her husband went out to the local store, she decided to record the place for any creepy activity, and she gets just what she asked for. Watch closely. I'm here at the Minger Hotel. I think that's how you say it, Minger. Waiting for Mike. He went across the street to get some playing cards because we're just waiting for some sort of ghost activity. Nothing yet. We walked all up, up and down the halls in here. It's a pretty nice hotel though. There's a flat screen. There's two closets. Here's one of the closets. Space. And then there's another closet. A 
with lots of space also. Lots of closet space. Hello? Mike? Hello? You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> my poor you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She hears a sudden knocking sound coming from within one of the closet rooms that she just checked moments ago. And when she opens it, she finds that everything has fallen off and it's all a mess, compared to how the room looked just moments ago. And then another door opens by itself, scaring her out of the room. Many viewers agreed that the place is haunted and that they too have experienced some kind of strange paranormal activity during their stay. But in the end, real haunted hotel or not, you be the judge. Psychic medium. Stephanie Almaguer is a psychic medium who says she is able to send spirits and other strange things. However, recently she started experiencing some strange electronical interferences around the house that couldn't be explained. Her smoke detector was repeatedly going off and after having an electrician come and examine it, along with the rest of the house, they concluded that everything was working fine and there's no issues. But this strange phenomena continued to go on, and every time she heard the smoke alarm randomly going off, paranormal events would occur around the house. One day, while she's home alone, the smoke alarm beeps, so she knows that something else is present in the house with her. So she gets her camera out to record it. And what she captures is utterly chilling. Go into my bathroom. Oh, that's me. I want to be see me. I look bad. Bathroom. Nobody there. Toilet area. You can see nobody there. This is a shower. Uh, let's see. Nobody's in the shower. And then the last place would be my. See, I just heard a noise in there. And there is nobody in there. Closet. And the lights on. My husband must have left it on. But there's nobody here either. It's just a lot of crap. Turn the light off. So, as you can see, there is nobody in my house. There is nothing. Now, Okay, do you hear that? My TV just came on. Oh, and the alarm just went off again. Look, do you see this? There is nobody in this house. The TV just came on. Holy crap. I'm going to reach down and turn it off. If that was a ghost, give me another sign. Anything. Anything. you got to be kidding me. Does everybody see that? The light. Do you see that? Okay. I'm going to show you that there is nobody. There is nobody in this house. Look, the lights are right there. If anybody at all, I'm going to turn it off. It was even up. Look, if anybody. Holy fuck! What the shit? Oh my god. Okay, did that door. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Okay, I don't get scared very often. Oh, that just freaked me out. Okay, let's walk back in there. What the hell? Oh my God, hold on. Holy shit, there was a rock in front of that door. Look, and there is nothing. There is no strings. There is nothing. Look. Prove this. Look, there is nothing. Nothing. I can't, I can't even open it. The rock is moved. I am not losing my mind. What the hell? There is nobody in here, look. There is nobody anywhere. I just went through here, I'll show you every room again, look. First, the TV turns on by itself and seconds later, the light starts flickering, even though the switches are by the corridor and you can see that nobody is there from where she's standing. As she goes to turn off the lights, a vague figure can be seen at the end of the room completely terrifying her and sending her running down the house. When she returns just mere seconds later, the door is suddenly locked and she struggles to open it. After opening it, we can see that the rock holding the door open has been moved. It's important to note that earlier on in the full video, you can see she has a rock making sure the door stays open. Finally, as she heads into the bathroom, Many viewers stated that they can see a demonic face manifest in the dark room before she turns the lights on. You can see what appears to be a nose, dark eyes and a mouth and after brightening the footage, it does indeed look like there is a face there but whether it's a case of pareidolia or not, I'm not sure. Although the creepy face does line up with the rest of the activity that happened, so is Stephanie's house really haunted? Let me know. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over to depthsofdespairbusiness at gmail.com. Unseen Passenger The next video comes from a bus driver in Santiago, Chile. As she was preparing to start her shift, she checked the bus to make sure everything was clear. But then, as she checked her monitor, she noticed something that gave her the chills. Watch closely. Corre el tiempo. Hay un pasajero sentado en el asiento por solo, al lado de la puerta. Lo movemos. Movemos. Fantasma, ¿qué chen? Sigue ahí sentado. ¿Ves? Y las cámaras no están paradas, siguen moviéndose. Habrá sido alguien que, que se movió ahí sentado. ¿Qué hueva? As she checks the monitor, we can see a passenger sitting down in one of the seats right near the doors and we can see the cameras are operating in real time but when she turns around there's no one there so is this a real ghost caught on camera or just an intricate ruse you judge on the roof just what led him to run away in despair Exploring a bunch of abandoned buildings located in a secluded area, somewhere in Poland. The explorer loses track of time, and before he realizes it, he has already gotten late, and is now dark outside. So he decides it's time to make his way back home, 
Unfortunately, waiting around till dark was one of the worst decisions he could have made while in the middle of nowhere. Watch closely. Someone or something with a very pale face can be seen emerging from right on top of the roof amidst the darkness of night and this person seems to have his sights set on the explorer. The explorer panics and turns around to run deeper into the woods in an attempt to escape but this creepy person continues to stalk him almost like he's hunting him down. Eventually, he manages to escape the sights of this creepy figure and makes it back home safely. Many viewers were also quick to notice how pale the mysterious hunter was. But the fact that he just came sliding down off a rooftop in the middle of nowhere at night just shows how quick it could have been over for the explorer if he was standing a little closer. Haunted House a woman had been living in her home for many years. She says that paranormal events like lights flickering and objects moving on their own have been happening for a very long time. So she sets up some security cameras around the house to capture these events. One day, while she's sitting on the sofa looking at her phone, the camera captures this. First, the plant moves and then an object falls off the table and then a cupboard door opens by itself, causing her to run out of the room in a panic. She says she is considering moving out, unless somebody knows how to cleanse this negative energy. Her reaction does seem quite genuine, but just what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to check out our new channel Stories of Despair where we cover the true tragic story of the young TikToker known as Felicia Conanchuk who ended up having her life taken from her live on stream. This girl is a 9 year old Russian TikToker named Felicia Conanchuk. She was a kind hearted young girl who often loved talking with her friends and viewers over on TikTok live. У нас там сосед, он пьяный, он, короче, стучится на дверь, всё ломает нафиг. You can watch the full video with footage on our channel, Stories of Despair.
we also have other true scary stories for you to listen to and another channel Depths of Mystery where we post all kinds of different mysteries. The links are in the description and pinned comment. Enjoy. That's all for today guys but if you like this video subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an upload. And with that being said you can follow the original Depths of Despair on Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. See you next time guys.